Harmeet Dillon is the founder of the Dillon Law Group. She joins us tonight. Harmeet, I mean, this is clear even to the president of Mexico. It's clear to everybody, Tucker, and I think it, it may even be clear to members of the grand jury in New York. And I think that's why we saw not the expected indictment come down today, but rather a cancellation of today's session. Now, in New York, the grand jury meets on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, typically, and they're on call for tomorrow. So it's quite possible that people are reading too much into this, and tomorrow we'll see what was meant to happen today. But some of the leaks that we've seen out of the proceedings and out of the DA's office suggest that the DA is getting pushback from the grand jury, and that may lead to the test. That may be as a result of the testimony of the witness that you had on your show on Monday, Robert Costello, who testified that uh, you know he had evidence about uh, Michael Cohen's credibility that had not been presented to the grand jury. And so if I were a grand juror and I heard that hundreds of documents that impacted on the outcome of this case had not been presented to me uh, by the DA, I'd have some serious questions. And so I think that's maybe what's happening. And uh, so far, Michael Cohen had bragged that he was going to be coming in to testify as a rebuttal witness, but that did not happen. So maybe that's going to happen tomorrow. We just don't know. So tomorrow afternoon, there'll be another session of the grand jury. We'll see what happens. The letter that you showed earlier just now, I think it goes to Michael Cohen's credibility, as does just about every piece of evidence we've seen so far. Which Michael Cohen should the grand jury be believing? And I think that's really the import of that, not what really happened, but rather the credibility of the two witnesses, may, Michael may, may Cohen and Stormy Daniels. A so, super quick question. Har People always say a grand jury will indict a ham sandwich. They always return an indictment. How weak does your case have to be for the grand jury to balk? Uh, it, it has to be really weak. That adage has generally held true over the years. Uh, it's a majority of 23 that has to vote on this. They have been spending uh, countless resources and years in this witch hunt, Tucker. And so uh, it, this is the best they can come up with. Two very discredited witnesses with contradictory stories, both of them repeatedly, documents that contradict the case. The case itself not being a crime, regardless of what Michael Cohen uh, pled guilty to under duress, as Robert Costello showed. So if this is the best they can come up with after 11 million documents have past hands and investigations about uh, Donald Trump, I think that shows you just how far and how low they're willing to sink to try to yeah. get him, which, as I said before, is election interference, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it's a Manhattan grand jury, you know. <laughs> it's amazing. Harmeet, thanks so much. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.